Hello. In this video we are going to talk about working with styles in Sidecore Experience Accelerator. So let's get started by going to the content editor. Um, styles is something that can be used for both front-end developers and for your end users, your content authors or marketers. Um, the principle is pretty basic. Um, you can go to your site presentation and then go to styles and in here you can configure your own styles. Now when I go to something that I have created myself for for example the promo component you can add a style definition for example if you want your end users to configure a dark background for a promo item you can give it a descriptive name and when you select it and you go to the content you can configure the value which is the CSS class that will be added to a div um, that is wrapped around your component, around your content. So what I have done here is I have created um, a border grey style, a dark grey background style and a light grey background style. Now when I go to one of my pages um, I have three promo components here and as you can see it's only data that is showed. So there is an image, a title and a description and nothing more. So when I'm going to select one of my promo components I go to more and then edit component properties and when I'm scrolling down you will see a styling section and in here you will see different categories and those are the categories when I go back to the content editor that are listed here underneath the style section. So based on the component that you have, you will have uh, a few of these categories and not all. So back to the experience editor. In here you will have the common, uh, the container, the content alignment, uh, image and promo. And as you can see here, you will see the border gray, dark gray background, light gray background and some default. So let's first click the border gray, hit OK. And when I'm scrolling down and I select another one, you can see that it has added a, a gray border. And this is because I have already um, created CSS files, which contains the CSS classes that are applied to the component. And in there, the style for the border is configured. Um, so let's show you by opening the developer toolbar when I'm going to select this component you can see here that it has added um, the border gray style so this is the class that is added to the div um, when I'm going to select this component you will see that it has uh, the component CSS class promo etc etc um, but it does not have anything else. Now when I'm going to select this component, I'm going to edit properties. Then I'm going to select, let's choose the dark background. Hit OK. And now it has added um, a different style and you saw some flashing things here. Uh, and now here is the background color dg that class that is added and this was the style that gives it a dark background so let's close this one um, last but not least I can do the same with the third and let's choose a combination of border and light gray background hit ok and now it's applied and if we're going to save this then you will see that you have three different versions of the promo component with the same running variant but in different visual styles. So that's pretty cool. Now another thing that you can do with it or a way of using it is um, the following. I'm going to another page and I have configured uh, some styles with which I can add full width containers and a background. So by default my content is fixed as you can see here and centered in the middle um, but I want something at the bottom for example that use the full width of the page so I'm going to add a container for it 
it's just one of the components of SXA. And now that it's added, I'm going to more add its component properties. I'm scrolling down a bit. And here underneath the container, I have created a full width container class um, so that it will use the full width of the browser. And I'm choosing the background pink. Hit OK. And if we're going all the way down, you can see that it has added the background color and in this scenario in the con uh, experience editor it does not show the full width but when I save it and publish it it does and you can see already that it's a little bit wider than the content above so that's it this is a quick example of how you can use styles and how you can configure it